Hey everyone, I'm Stoner. There's Susie. Uh, and then the Harry and the rest of the gang. Uh, you know, this guy. Uh, it's Stoner Sedgebox. What you're listening to, or hopefully you can hear it in the background, is um, Crossroads. It's just right, right up there. I don't think I'm going to get a, a copyright thing on this. If I do, I don't care. It's Topper and his band. Uh, really good. A lot of variety in, 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 on a CD. Love it, man. Anyway, um, uh, this is my weekend video. Uh, I'll show you the finds that I got this week. Uh, and stuff that I got in the mail this week, too. I ordered some stuff. And... Um, and I got a, uh, a present from a friend. Um, he does not want to be mentioned, which is just fine. Um, I've already communicated with the guy from my, with uh, the gratitude for the present he gave me. I will show you that after I show you what I got from this Um I got a couple grails too. Uh, I got some 45s, which I normally do not uh, look for. Um, I'm not much of a 45 guy, you know. But uh, there's one that uh, that is basically a grail for me. I used to have this back in the 70s, and um, I don't know how I lost it. Um, I was just a careless kid, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I'll show you the 45s I got first. Um, anybody who's watched this channel. Knows I love this man, Joe Cocker. Uh, woman to woman on one side, and what's the other one? Oh, here's the one. Midnight Rider. Uh, the other one is uh, High Time We Went. One side, Black Eyed, and the other side, Black Eyed Blues. These are off of uh, the Joe Cocker album. Uh, it was released in 72. Um, some people call it, um, I think that place is called Pardon Me Sir, is the name of the album. Uh, great album, man. It's, it's as close as they ever got to really doing a blues album, which I wish they would have. Um, but this is a grail for me. Uh, I had this when it came out. And uh, it, it was a song that really sold me on Joe Cocker. Uh, this is from the Mad Dogs, the Englishman album, Crummy River. And please give peace a chance. I've been looking for this, looking for this. Uh, every time I've, I've seen it on Discogs or anywhere, uh, the, the sleeve picture sleeve just been trashed or they didn't have one and I wanted the picture sleeve I got it man I got it I got part of my youth back speaking of uh no I'm getting off track man uh, I did order uh, a couple of CDs when I ordered those from uh, Philadelphia Music on this card Check him out. The guy has like thousands and thousands, like 95,000 um, selections of look to, to go through. He's got a ton of stuff. It's quick. I uh, pack things really nice. And I am a repeat customer of Philadelphia music. Not just because they're from Pennsylvania, but because they're good uh, with their shipping, their packing. And um, what they say the condition of the recordings are is the truth. So if they're VG, they're VG. If they're meant, they're meant. I got two uh, CDs from them. This one's a killer one. I love this. What's a uh, hot tuna? Paradise found. Pair a dice found. What a fantastic, fantastic CD. Great, great band. I absolutely love these guys. Um, of course, you know, you've seen the channel long enough, you know I love these guys. Um, 
it, it just it's just fantastic. Uh, a little, a little kind of bluegrassy stuff in it, some blue stuff in it, some rock and roll in it, some very mellow stuff that could be pop hits. I love it, absolutely love it. And I listened to this last night. Um, Elmore James, that's my broom. It's a compilation, but I have the, the vinyl now. The, that I can listen to at home, and I can listen to this in the car, which I have. Uh, it's, you know, that's my broom. I'll look on I'll, on yonder wall. Uh, it hurts me too, and just the sky's crying. Just blues classics. And I love Elmore James. I really love his work. Uh, this is the item that I got um, from a friend of mine. This is um, this is a Grail. I had this on 8-track. I had this on 8-track way back in uh, the 70s. And I only had one 8-track. One it's a 2-track, 2-8-track thing, you know. And uh, I'd never heard the the other sides, you know, the side C and D. Uh, but I absolutely love this album. I played it the other night. Fleetwood Mac in Chicago. This is a Peter Green Fleetwood Mac. And Otis Spann, Willie Dixon, uh, Shaky Horton, J.T. Brown. It says guitar buddy, but it's buddy guy. Uh, Honey Boy Edwards and S.P. Leary are on this, as well as Fleetwood Mac. It's, it's, it's fantastic, man. They, they recorded it at Chess Records in Chicago. And it's raw. It sounds raw. And it just sounds like they're just sitting in the studio jamming, which is what they are. I mean, they're, they're just, you know, pauses, uh, retakes, um, oh, it's an awesome, awesome album, uh, watch out, oh, baby, um, South Indiana, uh, last night, Red Hot Jam, which, it is a Red Hot Jam, uh, Rolls in a Tangle, Talk With Me, Talk With You, uh, Like It This Way, Someday Soon Baby, Hungry Girl, hung, hung, Hungry Country Girl, excuse me, uh, I'm worried. I, I held my baby last night. Madison Blues. Uh, it just goes on and on. I got the blues. Homework. Sugar Mama, which rocks. Uh, Rock and Boogie. I, every day you have the blues. Blackjack Blues. That's just some of the songs on this fantastic, fantastic album. Excellent album, man. And I. Thank you, my friend. You know who you are. Thank you. I was floored. I let him know that I was absolutely floored when I saw this. Uh, that was the stuff that I got in the mail. Uh, today, I did go to um, Mount Carmel Flea Market. Um, word of warning to anyone that lives around the area. Uh, I sent me a warning. It's um, a call, I should say. He's the call, as it were. Um, I was talking to Harry today. If I got a nice staff room. Next week, if you're around Central Pennsylvania or Eastern, Eastern Central, whatever, uh, I advise you to come to Mount Carmel Flea Market. It's at the corner of 51 and 61, 54 and 61. 54 61 right there on me in Mount Carmel, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a big place that looks like a grocery store. We cars parked out in the parking lot. If you want to buy some albums for three bucks a piece, kind of like what I'm going to show you, my advice to you is to get there next Saturday. I was at Rains. Rains, Harry will be there. But I don't think it's supposed, it's supposed to rain. So you get out there, Mr. William James, and grab some. Okay? I'm telling you, man, he's, he told me confidentially that 
next week, the albums are going to be three bucks a piece. We get close to October, and then he said in October he's not going to uh, be there to sell anything. So, <coughs> if you want the chance to get some stuff, man, you better hightail it out there. You can't miss Harry. Nice, tall, white haired gentleman. Can't miss Harry, man. Anyway, to further prove my point and the great stuff he has, I'll show you what I got this week. Um, Can't Heat live at uh, Tupanga Corral. Yeah, the jacket's beat up, but I checked the vinyl out, and vinyl, light scuffs, but it is in great condition now. It's one I do not have. And I have no doubles in my stack. There's no doubles in this stack. Status quo, now hear this. This is a reissue. Um, of an album that was called um, Whatever You Want by Status Quo. It's actually a fake. I know it's a record club. I don't know which one it was. But it's a reissue. 1989 reissue of 1970. A 1980 reissue of a 1979 album called Whatever You Want. I'll get together one of these days, man. Status quo. Come on. And uh, Rivia Records. Damn good band, man. Uh, Medusa. Capi. No split, but hey. Vinyl is in great condition. It's got uh, it's on the threshold white label, purple lettering. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny though. When I logged this into uh, Discogs. Uh, it was a prog band. No. Medusa is not a prog band. They're a hard rock band. Close to metal. But yeah. I didn't have this. Didn't want this. I got this. Yeah, you want some good hard rock? Instrumental? I saw this and I'm like, this is mine. Ronnie Montrose, man. Speed of sound. Freak and A. Montrose is hard to find out. You know, you can get the band Montrose, but not his soul, so. It's only a Enigma label. Peter Sound. I never thought I'd see this out in a while. And I saw this. I seen this on um, Don's channel. That old ghost. And I'd never seen it before. They explained to me this is like their early, early recordings before the uh, uh, were signed to Adco. Um, Black Oak Arkansas. Early times. So this is their Black Oak, Arkansas's uh, early, early stuff. So, uh, this is on stacks. This is usually soul music and funk. But uh, yeah, this is cool, man. Kind of looks like a Walt Disney cartoon, isn't it? Look close enough. 
He's Bambi. <laughs> Bambi, there's Thumper, and there's Flower. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that's what that is, man. Jim Dandy. There's a little bluebird, happy little bluebird. Very cool. I like this too. Kids in a little cart, a little wagon, making a making a left turn. I think it's pretty cool. I like this jacket. A lot of uh, humor in this. <laughs> I love Baco, man. This is my first concert. My very first concert was seeing Black Oak Arkansas. James Montgomery Band. Hey, you. Uh, speaking of Black Oak, I already had this, um, so I guess I lied earlier, but in a way, I don't have this. Um, the one that I do have is in a lot worse condition than this. But the one that I do have is a promo, so. And this, of course, is on the Atco label. Keep the faith. Um, let's see if that one's the last one. This is that, that one. Mata Hoople, Wildlife. Ooh, almost dropped that one. This is on Atlantic. And this is one I've been looking for for a while. I actually, any, any of the earliest stuff I've been looking for. Uh, they used to be uh, Eric Burden's backup band for a time. War. War is a ghetto. The Cisco Kid on it. The uh, 10 minute title track. 10 minute plus title track. And it's got a light, little scuff here, a little scuff there. I don't care. It's, it'll play. Um, yeah, I, I love this band. Absolutely love this band. Nothing fancy, Leonard Skinner. This is a reissue. And you know, uh, the biggest hit they have on here is. Um, Oh, Saturday night special. Big hit. Um, well, very cool band from the uh, late 60s, basically early 70s. Uh, Sugarloaf with uh, Jerry uh, Corbetta. Jerry Corbetta. Uh, I got a, I got a song. Never seen this before. On Brute Records. I have no idea how it sounds, but it is sugar loaf, so that's enough. Now this is the Grail. This is very, very hard to find. And when you do find it, it's expensive. I just pay, pay a lot for this. Dr. John in the right place. And 
and this is a bit of a gate pole, tri pole. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to open all this up or not. Very cool artwork. I don't think I'll be able to get far enough fast. And this has a song in the right place. Oh, wrong way. There we go. That's on the Edco label. Uh, it says, uh, you know, right place, wrong time. <coughs> same old, same old, just the same. Qualified, uh, traveling mood. Peace, brother, peace, life, such a night, which was another big hit for Dr. John. Shoe flag, marches on. I've been hoodooed. No, he's done, done that in concert several times. And cold, cold, cold. This, my friend, is a grail, too. I have been looking for this for quite some time. Before he passed away, I was looking for this, and I saw the prices, and I said, hey, hey, hey. ain't gonna spend that much money. That's it. Uh, that's all I got today. Uh, I'm not quite sure about tomorrow. Uh, not much of a mood to go out. I think just stay, maybe just stay home tomorrow. Unless I get an urge, which I doubt, but... Uh, uh, we'll find out. I did go to, um, was going to go to a, um, um, a real estate sale in Ashland, which is just uh, on the other side of Centralia. Um, what's left of it? Left of Centralia. Like three houses left, I think. Uh, and I just, you know, I got there and I'm like, Bleh. Probably should have went in, but you know, I limited funds, and you guys know about that. When you uh, you got bills to pay, and you got to be an adult, and you got to take care of that, take care of the the homestead. So that's it. Um, I just want to take the time to thank all of my new subscribers. Uh, I got a few extra this week. Uh, I'm very humbled, very thankful. Um, I'm surprised I'm as, you know, I have as many as I got, you know, it's, uh, but it is, it is appreciated, and it, it means a lot, you know, and the, the comments uh, mean a lot, too, um, I try to, to answer all that I can, and um, sometimes it takes me a couple of days or so, um, I'm a little slow in the you know, up there but uh, my best to all you guys out there guys and gals that take the time of your day to watch him old fart show the records he got you know he's, he's, he's just got and, and you know uh, how he stumbles and mumbles and just an old hippie man That's pretty much all I am. Well, my lovely wife Susie and I thank you. Harry thanks you. And we'll see you next time on Stone Stash Box. Peace, man. I forgot to show you something. Uh, I got some um, CDs at the flea market today. I forgot them. I put them to the side and, you know, out of sight, out of mind, or out of reach, out of mind, more likely. Um, yeah, I got these at the flea market today. Uh, at the booth that was right next to Harry. Uh, these were 50 cents a piece. And it wasn't a whole lot, but uh, I got a couple things. This is uh, Allison Krauss and Union Station Live. Double CD. 
love her voice, man. Absolutely love her voice. And this was recorded uh, at uh, Louisville Palace in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Not Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Very cool. I will be listening to this later on. Uh, another one, the, the last one that I got. Um, I'm not really a jazz fan. I don't really have the ear for it, but I saw this. Um, and I couldn't just let it sit there. Uh, for 50 cents, you know. It's a compilation. It's uh, John Coltrane. Uh, sp spiritual. I know of him, but I don't know anything by him. I'm not an expert. I'm not even a real big fan of uh, jazz. Uh, but uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. That's the tracks that's on it. So we'll find out if I like it or not. Um, if I dig it. That's cool. If I don't, I'll probably be gifting it out to somebody because, you know, just who I am. Uh, lastly, I was going to have stuff going out, going out to friends this weekend. Um, I just, as I said before, ding, 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 ding. I just get lost to myself or whatever. And uh, I didn't get anything done. I've got something I want to get out. There's four or five people I want to send stuff out to. And I just, not that I'm, that I'm lazy, which I am, but I just get home from work, man. And I just, don't feel like doing anything. I get enough time, you know. I, you know, gotta spend time with the little kitty cat. You know, spend time with myself. You know, relax a little bit. And spend time with him. Go to bed. Get up. Go to work. Come home. Spend time with him. Eat. Go down. And spend time with him. Blah 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 blah. That's my week, man. I work, take care of the cat, and I eat and sleep. And that's it. So exciting. <laughs> it's so exciting. Oh, uh, well, uh, once again, thank you uh, to everybody that watches this crummy channel. Um, I wouldn't say crummy. Just, you know, self-indulgent. Uh, I just like talking to you guys, you know. It's the only time where I can actually sit and talk to somebody and they don't talk back to me and interrupt me all the time. Which they do. They do that all the time, man. Sometimes I can't even finish the sentence and they're interrupting me with something else that even they think is more important than what I'm saying. That's the way it goes with stoner. I just, you know, okay, whatever, man. Say goodnight, Moose. Good night, Moose. See you guys, man.